Hey guys, this is E with Scrap Begin With Me, and we're going to take some junk mail envelopes, and we're going to make some belly bands for our journals that have little hidden pockets and journaling cards in them. So these are little hidden pockets in here that most people don't know there, there'll be one in the belly band, but that's what we're going to make. They're quick and easy, and it uses up lots of these junk mail envelopes. So let's get started. I'll show you how we do this. Now, I'm just going to take a regular envelope. This is just a junk mail envelope. It doesn't matter what size it is. It doesn't even matter if it has a window in it because you can cover it. Now, I'm just going to put a little glue on the flap and glue that flap down. Now, don't put your glue up to the edge to where you glue your pocket part down. Just put it right on the edge out here just so it will glue to this backing. Then what we're going to do is take our trimmer. Now I'm just going to kind of fold mine up and so I can see where the center is. Just going to put a little fold in there like that. You could measure, but this is quicker. So that looks like the center. It doesn't have to be right in the center. I just, you know, I'm just marking mine so I can get two that are pretty even out of. And then you have two pieces that have an opening like this. There's another one with an opening and I've already got one cut here that has an opening so I, I've got the potential of three right there out of two envelopes. Now I'm going to use this paper and this paper was sent to me by one of you guys. I absolutely love it as you know. And all I'm going to do, this is going to be my opening right here. Now, if you want your opening to be on this side, make sure that you turn it around and put your paper accordingly if you have a paper that's directional. But I want mine to be on this side. But you could have it come out of either side that you want. It doesn't matter. I just find I have a little bit more room on the right side in my journals when I put a belly band down than I do on the left side. All right, now I, I do this and I don't measure my paper. I just kind of put my paper down on there and then I rub it down. We're gonna rub it down on this side. Now I, I had an appointment with my doctor this morning for my hand. My thumb is driving me crazy. Um, of course, his suggestion was that I take some time off and stop using these big old scissors and stop typing and all of that kind of stuff, which I, I can't do that. I can't afford to do that. That's my job. But um, I may, next week, I may take just a little bit of time. I may not have a video up every day is what I'm trying to say. I just wanted to let you, know, you guys know that um, because I may just let my... He's going to put me in a stiffer brace on Monday, and I don't know how much crafting I'll be able to do with it. So I may just take a little bit of time and let it rest for a while. It's called uh, CMC Arthritis of the Thumb, so I'll just have to let it rest a little bit. I do. He, is, he did call me in some medicine, and my husband went to pick it up to um, put on it that it's a topical cream. So hopefully it will help. Now, I'm just going to cover both sides of this with the same paper. You can use different paper on different sides. It doesn't matter. You can, you don't even have to cover the back side of your belly band if you're not going to be lifting it. But a lot of my belly bands, I put just a magnet at the bottom. And so I lift them up. But just depends on how you're going to be using your belly band. So then we're going to trim this. Alrighty. Then I just check the ends and make sure that I've got glue all the way up to the end so that those ends glue down really well. And I've got a paper towel somewhere here. There we go. I just like for the ends to be really squished together. So 
if you put run a little bit of glue right there at the end and then just take your towel or you can just do it with your fingers if you don't mind getting glue all over you and just squish that down and that makes you have a really nice edge right there at the end. I'm going to trim this piece just a tiny bit. It's a little bit too long. Okay, there we go. There is our belly band and I'm going to do the same thing over here. You see how that is coming apart just a little bit? Now you could wrap this around, the, the uh, paper around, and then you'd have all of this back covered, but I find that this works just as well. A lot of times I'll just take my bone folder and press that in. And once I ink that, it will be fine. I'll show you. See how that glued together? Just with that little bit of glue. And then we are going to ink these up. I like the ink. And this is a vintage photo that I'm inking with. These are so quick and easy. And this, and they look so cute. And this, I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do this. Um, this came to me the other night when I was thinking about different pockets for my journal. How can I make different pockets? Because I want to come up with something different and unusual. And I thought, a belly band pocket. That would be good. All right, so there's our little pocket. There's the our belly band part right there. Now to make your uh, insert, your little tag insert, you can use the same paper or you can use different paper. I'm just going to use the same. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to use the same paper. And I just mark it. It needs to be just a little bit shorter than this width. It needs to be just a little bit shorter than this and just a little bit narrower so that it'll slide up in there without it showing, without sticking out. This one, let's see if I can see how wide this one is. This is one and three quarters inches wide. And then I'm just going to trim it off at, I did make a mark somewhere. Well, where did I make my mark? I'm going to trim it off right here at that butterfly. So let's see what we're trimming it at. And we have trimmed this one at eight and a half. So it just depends on the size of your envelope though. There we go. So that's going to fit right in there. Now I do need to put something on the back of this. You could write on this, but I want it to be a little bit thicker because this is not a very thick paper. So I'm going to use some probably tea dyed paper or coffee dyed paper and put it on the back. Let's see what we have in here. That'll work right there. It's kind of a yellowish, but it's not going to matter. I'm not particular. Anything that you can write on is great. And my hands are a inky mess because I have been doing more videos today. I'm trying to get enough videos caught up that I can take a little bit of time off next week and let my thumb rest. So I'm trying to get the videos done today so that um, everything will be kind of ahead. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. And I've got so many videos in my head I need to get them out of there or they won't let me rest. Okay, so there is that. We're going to ink around this as well. There we go. Now we're just going to make sure that it slides up in there before we put our little pull on there. And it does. It just fits. So now what we're going to do is just, I've just got one of these. I've used my punch and I just punched one of these and I'm going to put it right there. And I like to put it down low enough that it only a small amount of that shows on the outside there.
and I don't really measure where the center is I just kind of put it down there we go okay now let's slide this in here oh come back come back everything's running from me there we go now we did get these sugar bell bottles in and the little caps uh, we've got a few more left a lot of them sold yesterday as soon as I put them up but we have a few more left if you want to go over and check them out they're so soft you don't even really have to squeeze them and these caps will fit the four ounce and the eight ounce so we've got eight ounce bottles coming but right now all we have in stock is the four ounce so if y'all want one of those you can go grab it before they're all gone I've got more ordered but they won't be here probably for another week or so okay and I'm just using the same lace that I did on that other one that's I love that vintage lace I, I got that from Cindy's Vintage Cafe that's one of our sister sites you need to go over and check her out she's got some beautiful vintage lace I will try to remember to leave her link below she's one of my admins and uh, she runs our sister site with the vintage laces and trims and things like that but she has some beautiful items okay I'm gonna put that I think right down through there on the other one I put the black but I think on this one I'm just gonna put that silver it's not gonna show up quite as much though is it I like the black but I'm gonna use silver on this one I'm just gonna break out and use silver break out of the box need to use all of our tools not just the ones that we like the most And I'm not measuring to see if I've got it in the center. I'm just going to place it down. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. There we go. So, isn't that cute? Now, see, I like that. Okay, then I'm going to... I need a little butterfly to put on here. So, I'm just going to go to my little butterfly books well this has got some of my butterflies in it but it doesn't have all of them now I don't think I need a butterfly this one's covered with butterflies so let's see what else we might need I think let's see we could do a little flower oh, no I don't like that um, hmm what shall we do we got some Tim Holtz pieces. Always do a word. We know we can do that. We can always do a number. This is a little Tim Holtz piece we could put there. That's cute. And then we can put a number on there. So let's see. I think I tore that paper right there. I'm going to glue that back before it tears more I stuck my big hand down in there way too far there we go all right what else are we gonna put on there let's look in here and see if we have just a small little flower would be pretty so I'm just gonna trim this little number down This is just a little tea card with a hmm, some type of flower on there. I'm not sure what. I'm not good with my flowers, so we'll leave it at that. If I guess, it'll be the wrong kind. So, yeah, I know it's not a rose. It looks kind of like a magnolia. I don't know. Anyway, we're putting a flower on there. And then I'm going to put just a little number. right there at the top 
and I'm going to trim that little excess off. I didn't want it even with this. I didn't think that would look right, so I'm just trimming that excess off there. Then I've got just these little stick-on butterflies. I don't know if this little butterfly is going to look right on there or not. We'll try it and see. If it doesn't, we can take it up. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look bad. So, and I'm not going to be picky. I'm just going to leave it. I am probably just going to put, I've got two more little flowers on this. And I'm probably just going to put these down on here if I can get them off. These are just some little stickers. And I'm probably just going to stick those on there somewhere. That will use these up. And I don't think they look bad at all. You've got butterflies flying, so you need flowers, right? So that is, that needs to be trimmed a little bit better. Look at that, isn't that cute? I like that one. All right, so that is our little journal. Now I'm going to put just a little piece of bling in the center of those little flowers. I want it to kind of match and bring it all together. I'm not totally sold on the yellow one, so we may take it off because that's introducing another color. Let's see. No, I'm not either because it's stuck really well. Excuse the noise out in the shop. That is, that is my husband. That's his air prayer, air, air hickey do, air whatever. And it's pretty loud, but if I wait until he finishes to do my videos, I'll never get them done. I hope it's not too loud and bother you too much. So there is another one finished. See how quick and easy those are? And they're so cute. I love them. Let's do, let's see how long this is. Let's do one more. Okay. Just going to make sure I've got the right side there. And I think on this one I will use this paper. Let's see. Let's just grab a really bright paper to use on this one. Okay. We're going to use this paper on this. This is just a scrap I had don't remember. It's from a Prima collection, but I don't remember right off the top of my head which one. But we're just going to use this. And I'm going to do the opening the same way. going to use my bone folder to press that down like that then we'll trim that off Okay, and then for the back side, I think we'll use this, the back side of that paper. There we go. All 
right, so we've got those sides covered. And then I'm just going to use, oops, did I cover that? Nope, I didn't. Okay. There's my opening. Oh, I thought I'd put that upside down. I'm going to use the picked raspberry that one of you guys sent me to go around the edges of this one. I think that will match really pretty with that. And you see, I like a little bit of all of the, I like bright colors. I like brown colors. I like to switch it up. I like a variety. That is pretty. I love that. Okay, I'm lay that aside just for a second. And now we're going to cut a tag to go inside there. And I'm going to use the same paper. I'll probably use the back of it for my tag. So let's cut at, let's see, I think that other one was one and three quarters, maybe. Cut right there. And then, let's see, I'm just going to eyeball it and trim it off about right there. That'll work. Okay, then we're going to back it with something, and I'm just going to use the same paper. It doesn't matter to me what color it is. It's a little bit brown, a little bit yellow but it will be fine to write on. This is another thing now I'm going to be so addicted to. I'm going to be making hundreds of them. Oh my word. I'm going to be making... I'm so addicted to those pen clips and things that I have got a whole stack of them already made. And now this is another thing that I'm going to be totally addicted to. I know, but it's so much easier to cut a long strip with long scissors than it is the little ones. There we go. Alright, so that, let me smooth that out a little bit in the back. There we go. Okay, so that is our little tag to go inside. And I'm gonna, just going to ink it a little bit around with this. Now I want to see some of these over on our Facebook page. That link is directly below. Make sure that you go over there and join us. You can post your crafts. It doesn't have to be what I've made. It can be whatever you're working on. Uh, the only thing we ask is that you don't advertise, you know, other channels and other companies and things like that. But uh, you can read all of that in the rules. But I want to see some of these made from you guys. I love to see what you create. Sometimes I can just look at what you create and it gives me ideas. So, and I know other people say the same thing. So make sure you go over and join our Facebook page. And we are nearing 10,000 subscribers. And when we get to 10,000, I think we'll have a Facebook giveaway. All right. We've got lots of milestones that are getting close. Um, we're coming up on 50,000 on our YouTube channel. We're coming up on 10,000 on our Facebook page. Uh, Melina has reached her thousand. We're going to be drawing for that, for the giveaway for there next week. Uh, I think she's putting up a video. I believe she's putting it up today that tells you how you can make sure that you're entered in that so lots of giveaways coming up lots of ways that you can win good crafty items okay look at that how cute i like that my tag's a little bit crooked let's see if i can pull it out a little bit there we go 
look at that. That is cute. Now see, I love that one. All right, which I love all of them, but I love that one too. I'm gonna put, oh, I like that. It's not, doesn't really show up that much though, does it? Let's see if we can do a double layer maybe. Let's see what else I might have in here. I've got lots of lace from you guys and I'm trying to use some of all of it. Um, okay, let's see if we can, ooh, that's a long one, okay. Let's see if we can layer this maybe and make it show up a little bit more. I don't know, it might not show up as much if we layer it, but we'll see. I'm gonna put that down and then put that on the top. Nope, doesn't show up as much. So let's just put this little piece down. Isn't that cute? I know it doesn't show in the camera that much. You'll be able to see it up close. I just don't want to put a, a bright pink or anything on here. I think this one's going to be good enough. A black one might look pretty good on here too. I don't know that I have a black narrow one. I have black wide ones. Oops. Stuck to my sticky fingers. Isn't that cute? trim that off and someone asked me in a post or in a comment and I don't remember who but I'll answer you on here someone asked me what scissors were these that I use on paper and I can still use them on my trims and, and material these are the Tim Holtz haberdashery scissors uh, not sure I don't I can't see right now where we have these stashed but I'm not sure if we have any more we have some on order but if we do have more of them I will link them below but they're fantastic you can cut anything with them you can cut material with them you can cut trims laces paper and they just stay just as sharp and they've got a nice sharp edge on them or point on them I should say so they work really really well oh love it I love it I love it at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so quick and easy. Now if your journals are not as tall as this, I usually make mine about nine, but if yours is not as tall as this, then make sure that you cut your paper off your little envelopes. You can cut them off at the end and then just glue that back together and you can make them whatever um, height that you want. Okay, let's see. What do we want on here? We're not going to have to put very much on here at all because it's already so pretty. I think we may just put a little word on here and let that be it. Because it doesn't really need that much, does it? Oh, did I cut that crooked? Let's ink around it with this one. Just keep to that same picked raspberry tone there. Isn't that pretty? Let me see if I have anything else that I might want to put down on here. Now this is a stamp from one of you guys. Come off of your package. So we're going to put that right there. And I tore it trying to get it 
away from the backing so let me see if I can put that little piece back on there maybe that will work it doesn't have to be perfect and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of ink on top of it to just kind of blend it in with the background okay and then right down here I'm gonna take just a little piece of vellum I'm going to ink that up with the same color and I'm going to put that right there and then put our word on top and that will be it on this one. Okay, I'm going to clip that off even and then put just a little bit of that ink right there and that, oops, that is another one. Aren't they cute? So grab your stash of envelopes. I know you have them like I do. Grab that stash and start making some cute and easy belly band pockets. That's what we're going to call these. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell if you want to be notified when we put up new videos. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.